Welcome to Digital Asset News, like the top stories in crypto and break them out in bite-sized pieces. Today is just a very odd day because this dip really shouldn't have happened, and I'm going to explain why. So we're going to talk exactly about uh, what the story is behind this dip. Then we're going to talk about the real story. I'm going to get some of your responses from Twitter, and then uh, I'm going to talk about why it's so important to do your own research and why it's never a great idea to panic sell, which is what we're seeing right now. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I did as far as with this dip. So we'll go over all those things, but first take a look what's going on into the market. And uh, as you may have guessed, it is a little bit down. Not too bad, but uh, it is what it is. And we're Looking at uh, the Bitcoin price at uh, 41,557, uh, Ethereum 2833. I think we're just below 2 trillion market cap. Cardano the 220 and everything else. So like within the last 24 hours, uh, Cardano is up actually up 0.85%, not too bad. And then uh, everything else is in the red, except for Terra Luna on the tear, 2%. But everything's down. And the question is, well, why? Well, why is that? And really, there's not a... There's not a good story behind it. I can tell you why it is, but I'm going to tell you the story and what this actually uh, came down to. But first, before we do that, I want this uh, this image to be burned into your brain if you haven't seen this already about a thousand times. And uh, if you're new to crypto, this is something that you need to know about uh, so you can kind of be prepared. And that is that China bans Bitcoin all the time. They just ban it, and then they, all of a sudden they'll come on and go, oh, we're going to ban this again, or oh, there's this new wrinkle that we're going to ban. We're going to uh, uh, ban specific cryptos like tomato coin or whatever stupid thing else uh, that, that's out there. But really what it comes down to is that uh, these stories uh, keep regurgitating. And for the uninitiated, people who haven't been in the space too long, uh, this looks like the worst thing of all time. And they haven't done their research, which I understand, a lot of things going on. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, panic sell. So just remember this, that every single year, China bans Bitcoin. And uh, nothing against the Chinese people, but uh, we just have to realize that cryptocurrency is uh, doomed in China for quite some time. They're going to have their own digital yuan. Good luck with that. But as far as like Bitcoin and anything in the market cap, uh, it is gone. Uh, they're not going to be able to do too much with it. So uh, let's just cut them off. And that's really what it comes down to. So that is it. Here is the actual story itself. Chinese regulators unite forces to crack down on crypto. The, the PBOC, People's Bank of China, officially announced on Friday uh, a set of new measures to fight against crypto adoption in China. This is the direct statement. Financial management departments, cybersecurity and information departments, telecommunication departments, public security departments, and market supervision departments work closely together to cut off payment channels, dispose of relevant website and mobile applications in accordance with the law. So that is essentially what they are doing. And uh, that is that is a part of the story. Now, uh, the thing with this is that we know that back in uh, around May, June, somewhere around there, uh, China kicked out all the miners. And that just caused a, a huge sell-off of, of Bitcoin because people were like, oh no, we're not gonna be able to, to mine in China. I thought that was the greatest news of all time. I'm like, great, if, if you wanna do, do away with one of the biggest technological advancements and uh, boot this industry out, we'll take it all day long. And that's what happened in Texas. And uh, they welcomed all the uh, Chinese miners to move over and it's going swimmingly well. Now, if the SEC could just, uh, you know, work with crypto, I think we'd, uh, we'd have a real winner. And uh, America, uh, North America could really lead the way in crypto, but that's, a, that's another story. So with this one, uh, that is what is happening as far as like this. So here is the actual story behind the story, as I like to say it, or the real story. And uh, again, I will want you to notice that Cointelegraph did both of these stories. So at least they realize that, uh, hey, you know what? We really should put a, uh, the story behind the story and what's really going on. And it says Bitcoin suddenly lost $2,000 in an hour on today. As what appeared to be old news or of a Chinese regulatory ban hit social media. And uh, the knee-jerk move came as a memo from the uh, Chinese Central Bank or the PBOC began to circulate online, criminalizing practically all crypto activity except possession. So in, in China, you can't mine it, you can't trade it, but apparently you can have s slight possession of crypto, uh, which is kind of weird. It's like, uh, it's like you can have that gold bar but you better not use it for anything. That's essentially what they're saying. And this was from uh, uh, Molly at Big Mac Dow. She says the PBOC's announcement about banned crypto got widespread today as was announced on September 15th. 
posted online. The market already reacted to this FUD story. And here's a little uh, representation. So the question is then why? Why did this happen? And uh, what what was the, the reason behind it? Well, uh, thankfully, I've got some pretty smart subscribers. And uh, this is what they said as far as like your responses on Twitter. Also, if you're not following me on Twitter, it's at News Asset. Everything I'm, I usually talk about uh, in these videos, I talk about first on Twitter because that's where all the uh, that's where you can get all the great information first because it's uh, a lot easier to send a tweet than to make a video and edit and upload and all that good stuff or write an article like in Coin Telegraph. So I said this. I go, look, if this China ban is the reason for the dip, then people really are gullible. The Twitter Bitcoin news yesterday was massive. And uh, I'll talk about that in a bit. And uh, here we are with this China nonsense. And this is, uh, Sean says, I think bears are pushing it down. Uh, someone really wanted their op opinion call to be right or option call. Uh, there's always something in store for us every last Friday of September, agreed. Uh, this is very funny. Cryptos are not currency in China. So many think Bitcoin is legal tender. Uh, need to go to 37 before. Dermot uh, Beverly says, that's because they don't understand fundamentals and are gambling looking for the quick win. I stopped playing the market a long time ago and I'm just trickling cash into crypto when I can, otherwise known as dollar cost averaging. I like that. It's an old statement. I don't think it's people being gullible, says Dr. Murano. It's whales who use these news to dump, which then leads to weak hands dropping their asset and liquidation of longs. I just buy every dump like the fish that's attached to the whale. <laughs> and that's uh, pretty much uh, the 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 big stories or uh, the big thinking around here. Some people just say, hey, you know what? Uh, it's just people like, uh, in case you miss it, says weak hands and weaker minds. I don't think it's uh, weak hands and weak minds. I just think it's just people who are somewhat uninitiated and really need to uh, dig down into it, which leads me uh, to my next point. And that comes to this, do your own research and panic selling. So this was a, a pretty good survey from Guy over at Coin Bureau, fantastic channel. One of the channels I recommend uh, in my uh, in the, uh, description below, you can find this. It's like eight I always watch every day or choose try to. And uh, he says this, this is, let me pull this up so you can see it. This is, whoop, bring this up, a survey uh, or a share that would invest in crypto if the following people endorsed it. I don't know the actual sample size, but uh, I'll get to that. It says uh, if it was and in gold as an investor and blue as a crypto owner. So they state, if your financial advisor recommended it, would you buy it? And 57% of investors said yes. And crypto owners said 81% said yes. A family member, a friend, 49%, 76%. A reporter, 27.53. A celebrity or influencer, 20 and 45. So one thing I will make mention of this is that your financial advisor, it's amazing that 57% of investors, whatever they are into, will say, yes, if they recommend, you know, I'm almost 60%, I would invest into that because I trust my financial advisor. But here's the thing that is, is shocking to me, and that is this. If you're trusting your financial advisor to give you the best information, you have to understand that uh, those guys and gals, uh, they get paid pretty handsomely to recommend certain stocks or certain funds or something like that to you, and they get a little bit of a kickback. So if you think that everybody is uh, is unbiased and they're there for, for you uh, in your best interest, you have to do your own research and really look behind the projects. Me personally, well, first of all, I'll just tell you this. If I'm talking about it on this channel, I'm biased too, because guess what? I own it. But that's why I'm always giving you the best information or the best information I can give you to help you in your own research. It's your responsibility to go out there, take a look at the project, see if there's actual utility, see the actual team behind it, the tokenomics, everything else, and go, you know what? I like that. I'm going to invest into that. And that, I think, is the easiest way to do things. So to me, it's just shocking that people are like, yeah, my financial advisor's got my back. Not always. So that is that part. And then uh, I would just say that my response to today is this. It's the same thing that Beverly was talking about, uh, is that uh, I'm just going to dollar cost average. And I learned a bit ago that uh, there's always a dip within a dip within a dip. And uh, on these days, I just kind of break things up. I dollar cost average in. I also dollar cost average my dips. And today I bought Ethereum and Avalanche. Why did I buy Ethereum? Well, I don't think that uh, it's, it's not so much about like Ethereum is going to be the greatest thing of all time all the way through. I don't know which one's going to win. I don't know if it's going to be Ethereum or Avalanche or Tezos or uh, or Cardano or, or whatever smart contract platform. But I think there's room 
for all of them uh, and what they want to do. And I think that uh, the reason why I bought these, in all honesty, is first of all, I own everything. Obviously, I own them all. But the, the other thing was that it had dropped so much. It was almost 10% drop. It was crazy. It was like down to like $2,700, something like that. And then Avalanche had also dropped 10%. I'm like, I have to buy these things because I know exactly where this, this whole market's going. Order four will be fireworks. And if it's not, if, if it's not like the big, the end all be all in uh, October, November, December, just then January, February, I'm pretty sure me personally, I think it's going to do pretty well. And that is it. So look, I just wanted to make this uh, this short video, just tell you about what's going on. I didn't do a video yesterday. I got uh, caught up in some things, but uh, what I really want to talk about uh, today later is, uh, of course, how Twitter is uh, integrating uh, with the Lighting Network and Z and uh, Jack Mahler's uh, product and how they're able to actually allow tipping. I'm sure people have, have already talked about this, but I just want to give you a different take on it. And there's some other things that uh, I'll bring over from yesterday. But uh, for today, that is it. And uh, if you stuck with me all the way to the end, first of all, thanks. I appreciate it. If you like these types of videos, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Uh, also consider subscribing. We talk about these things every single day, unless I missed a day like yesterday. But that is all. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.